Hey guys, Kevin, my good friend Rob here. Howdy. We're going to play a quick game of Catizo to show you how it's played. So to start out, each of us gets a hand of five different cards. Here we have the draw pile, and here we have the pile of all our basic plant cards. They're going to be kind of the foundation of our ecosystem. Once we have our five cards, we always start with one card in the discard pile. Now that we're set up, we're ready to play the game. Hope you brought your A game. It's on. We're going to play with most of the game with our cards exposed so that everybody can pay attention, right? Yeah, yep. Okay. So everyone can follow along with what we're both doing. But usually we're going to keep our hands hidden. All right, I'll get us started. So as my first action, I'm going to take the top card of the plant pile and I get to put that directly into my ecosystem. Now we always want the top card of the plant pile facing up, so I'll flip over that top one again. Now uh, I'm going to take one more plant card. So now I have two plants in my ecosystem, which means I can use my third action to play American Beaver which eats two plants, and then he'll provide one mammal for another species to eat. As soon as I play him, I get to draw a card because of his special rule text. So I'll go ahead and take the top card off the drawer pile and put that in my hand. Now that's all three actions for my turn. So at the end of my turn, I count up how many points I have. One plus zero plus zero. So I'll score one point this turn. On right. Rob. So I'm going to grab plant card, play that one, and I'm going to grab a squirrel who plays on top of the plant. Squirrel costs one plant, so I'm going to grow on top of that. That's my second action. And then I got a cockroach. The cockroach has a special ability where it doesn't need to eat any resources. So I can play that one by myself, which makes my third turn. Nice. So this turn you're going to score two points. Mm -hmm. Got an early lead. Alright, my turn. I'm going to take another plant. This one's a bamboo. Now that means I can feed my giant millipede. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then off of that, I'm going to play the orb weaver. The orb weaver is another tier one bug. So normally it can't eat other tier one animals, but it has a special ability that lets it eat other tier one bugs. And your millipede could have also eaten a bug instead of a plant, right? Yes. can eat bugs or plants. Now that's my three actions. So now I have one, two, three, four points in my ecosystem. So I add that to my previous turn score. I'm at a total of five points now. All right. I'm going to take the red fox and he's going to eat the squirrel. I'm also going to take my cockroach and use it to feed a woodpecker. And I'm going to take my third turn to draw another card. And that's it for my turn. Okay. I have two, three, four, five, six added on to my two, so I have eight. Good. I'm going to take another plant, and now I'm going to play my blue gold macaw. Blue gold macaw can only eat fruit plants, so that means he has to eat my fig. I'm allowed to rearrange my ecosystem however I want every turn, so I'm going to have move my American beaver over here on top of these two bamboo. 
and play my macaw on that fig. Also, when he comes into play, I immediately gain three points. So that puts me at eight right away. Well, that lead disappeared quickly. I still have one more action, so I'm going to take another plant. Never hurts to have an extra plant. Now I get to score, so I score one, two, three, four, five. On top of my eight, I'm at 13. All right, I got some work to do this turn. First turn, first action, take the plant. the grasshopper to that, so that's my second action. And third action is have my tree frog eat the grasshopper. So I had eight before, now I get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, sixteen, in your face. Always want to keep that top card of the plant pile shown. Everyone gets to look at that. So I'm actually going to use an action to take the top card of the discard pile and I get to put that back in my hand. Then as my second action, since I have this open bamboo here, I'm going to feed that to the Galapagos tortoise I just picked up. And then as my third action, Numbat is another special creature. He's a tier one, but he's allowed to eat other tier one bugs. So I'm going to build this food chain right on up and have him eat my orb weaver spider. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points on top of my 13. That puts me at a total of 20. You're up, Rob. All right. I got nothing. I have no hand at all. So I should probably start building up my hand again. So let's draw two cards. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that one. I'm not going to show them what that one is just yet. Okay. Because I'm then going to play it. Oh. So this is one of the, uh, the special powers that are in the deck. So in this case, I discard my hand, which I didn't have much of one, and I get to draw four cards. All right, so we're back in the game. All right, so that's two of my actions. Then my third action, I'm going to actually play this uh, California Redwood. And uh, in order to play it, I have to discard a card. And I'm actually going to discard... Uh, no, nope, you actually get to draw a card. Or draw a card, that. you're right. My yep. bad. All right. So I got a little... I got an African alligator. Oh. All right. And it's back to you now. All right. How many points do you get that time? Oh, good point. Let's see. Uh, actually, I didn't change any, so I'm still up 8 on top of my 16, so I'm at 24. All right. So I don't have too much to work with here myself either. I can take the top plant, put it in, and then play my vole on top of that. Now I don't have a hand either, so I'm going to look at the top two cards. And I will keep this one, the Goliath Bird Eater. That means I discard the Snake Eagle. That's my three actions. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more points on top of my 20. Puts me at 28. Close game. All right. So, the California Redwood gives me two plants. So I'm actually going to play the monkey that has to eat two of something, two different items. So that'll suffice that. And then, I'm actually going to take both of these mammals. I'm going to rearrange just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And for a second action, have my alligator. Oh boy. It's a big eating boy. both of them. Alright, 
third action, I don't have anything great up my sleeve, so I'm just going to grab a plant and put that one on the table. All right, so that turn actually gave me five extra points. So I was at eight originally. So now I'm plus 13 on top of my 24, so 37. Good turn. I'm going to rearrange kind of the way Rob did here. Just consolidate a little bit, keep everything on the table in front of me. Generally, it gives you the ability to keep the values of the cards and the actual attributes together. So the design of the cards makes it really easy to compress down as you get more and more cards added in. So I picked up this last turn. And now I'm going to go ahead and play him. You'll notice he doesn't have anything on the top row, so he doesn't provide any food for other species. That's because he's an apex predator. Uh-oh, I didn't even know you had him. I'm going to have him eat my blue gold macaw. Sorry, Mr. Macaw. <laughs> That's one action. And then, again, I have no hand, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the top two. And I think I'll keep this one. I'm not going to show him that one quite yet. Uh-oh. Put that one in the discard pile. And I think I'll go ahead and play this now. So it's another special power card. I get to choose a plant card and play, and then immediately remove that one from the game. So I'm going to take that nice California Redwood that Rob's got here. And say bye bye to that ecosystem falling apart. So now he's got some work to do next turn to feed that monkey. All right. So I'm going to take two actions to get this back up in order. So it's not the end of the world, but I definitely just lost two actions. And third action, let's try to get ahead of the game a little bit. And play this bird for one. It's Finch. Before you score, I forgot to tally up my score from last turn. So uh, last turn I scored one, two, three, four, five, six. Got three points for my Goliath Bird Eater. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On top of the 34 I had last turn, puts me at 45. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I managed to keep my 13, plus added one more, so I'm at 14 on top of my 37. So that puts me at a nice and healthy 51. You still got some work ahead of you. Yep, yeah. it's not over yet. Going to go ahead and keep grabbing more cards here. Keep this one and choose to discard this one. Now again, I'm going to move him over a little bit. And have my Jaguar then eat these two mammals here. So that's two actions. My last action, picking up one more card. out on the table. That's three actions, but the card I picked up was Python. He doesn't cost an action to play. So real quick, I'm going to put him on top of my American Beaver here for an extra point this turn. So this turn I was able to add four more points to my ecosystem, putting me at a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, fifteen points. I'm up to 60. 60. You're up, Rob. All right. Well, my hand is looking pretty slim right now, so let's try to replenish that a little bit. Okay. That, doesn't, that helps me a little more than I thought it would, so I'll take. 
that and I'm going to draw again. Right, so that's two actions. Now one of the ones that I picked up is a Praying Mantis, which is nice because it allows me to eat other tier one bugs. So I'm actually just slip this guy right in here. A bug who eats bugs. A bug who eats bugs who then gets eaten by a frog. Makes me kind of want to sing Circle of Life. All right, so that one's worth two points. So I'm now up to getting 16 points a turn. Add that on to my 51. And uh, I'm at a nice and cool 67. All right. I'm going to go ahead and see what I can draw up here. I'll hang on to this. So I can't play this right now because Monarch Butterfly needs flowers to eat. And right now I have fruits and I have regular bamboo plants, but I don't have any flower plants. So I'm going to draw one more time here. Same predicament. I'll keep the grass, discard the bumblebee, and I'll go once more. Not the best turn here. It's not too bad. I can hang on to him. I definitely don't want him to get this card. <laughs> if he gets another frog, all their points are doubled. So I'm going to hang on to that, mostly just to spite Rob. He knows I like those frogs. So, didn't really get much added to my ecosystem. So I'll score 15 points again. Add it on to my 60, I'm at 75. All right. I'm going to grab this uh, fruit, this fig, specifically because I've got a monkey who only eats fruit. All right. So that was two actions. And I've got this elephant, but it eats so friggin' much. And I'm gonna pick up a nice special power card, but uh, my turns are all used up this, uh, this or my actions are always used up this turn. So I did get to play one more point, so I'm earning 17 on top of my uh, 67. I have 84 points. It's a big deficit. Yeah, and uh, it does mean that I'll be hitting 100 next turn unless uh, you got something up your sleeves. Mm -hmm. So that means I have to get 25 points this turn in order to top the 101 you're going to end up with inevitably next turn. Outlook is not too good for me right now. Mm -hmm. But I'll give it my it's best. It's still close. So I'm going to start off playing the grass. Again, grass is one of the cards that doesn't cost an action to play. Help me. <laughs> well, I'll pick up the Japanese beetle that Rob dropped for me and put him into play here. Gets me one more point, so I'm at 16, uh, totaling 90 turn. And that'll be the end of it once you finish out your turn. Yeah. So, i just see what else we can get here. Well, I did manage to get myself another frog. Don't know if I have a bug I can feed him to. Let's see what else I can pull. We got all the special, uh, special uh, low-level guys right now. All the ones I really needed at the beginning of the game that didn't uh, didn't quite pan out. So that's really about it. It's not like uh, I have anything else I can play. Let's see what else I would have drawn. No, another bug. So it would have been nice and set for the next turn, but 17 points, so that puts me at 101. That does it. It's the end of the game. Good game, Rob. Yeah, fantastic game. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you.